What's up, everybody? All right, so we are back. We are back. We're going to give, uh, well, I am going to give Shots of Sunset another try. And <clears throat> we will see how this goes. I cannot make any fucking guarantees, okay? Because I get a feeling that we're going to have a lot of shit where it's just like, okay, even though it's real life storylines somewhat repeating themselves, and one of two things is going to happen with this season. Either A, it's going to piss me off to the point that I will just stop reviewing it, meaning that the show will air and probably a week will go by unless I go down under. If that is not the case, if y'all don't see a fucking review, then it probably because I got fed up with it. Or I would treat this like I do some of my love of hip hops and with certain people and certain bullshit and certain fuck shit come on the screen. I just won't talk about it. So I don't know. But we'll see. So let's go ahead and get into this first um, episode. Before we even get into it, I want to mention that Asifa is no longer on the main cast. Holla to the hey hey, holla to the motherfucker. You know, I need to, I need to puff on that one. Okay. It made me happy because watching her was fucking draining. <laughs> Last, I swear, it got to a point where I was like, I, <laughs> I don't want to watch the whole, let alone have to sit here and talk about it. And like I said, she's a very pretty girl, but it was just like the same fucking thing with her every fucking time. I'll talk, I'll briefly mention her later, but Sherman, my boy Sherman is on the main motherfucking credit. I'm like, come on, bitch. I was fucking happy to see that. Like, I, I, said, I mean, I like Sherman. Sherman brings a nice little thing to us. So I was like, <clears> hmm. <throat> Okay, they finna give him, you know, his part. He's been playing the friend of the cast for the entire time. So, happy to see Sherman. And he plays a part in his first episode. So, let's get into it. <clears throat> uh, Reza. Adam is sticking it out with him. We all know that Reza just fucking did him. And I'm kind of upset that they did not record that, like, when he came home. Because that would have been some good shit for us to really see just like that shit going on but they were past it adam decide um <clears throat> is well adam and rez are committed to working on their relationship and rez still wants to get married now either a adam really loves his motherfucker or b he sees a good thing and he's gonna stick with that good thing whatever that may be but hey you know more power to him like i said on some real shit i don't really care that much for reza but i want to see adam happy I'm, I'm gonna just keep it funky. I'm gonna keep the shit 1000 with y'all shit. Y'all know my ass been Team Mike from Jump Street. And I don't know. I might be having to jump ship being Team Mike. I might have to be Team Shervin because I don't know. I don't know. My. 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 my, my because here's the thing. Y'all know I do trending topics. I know nothing. And apparently, Mike and Jess are divorced. I don't know shit about it, so this shit go play out, and I'm not gonna research it because I want to see what the fuck happened. But apparently, he didn't cheat on her, so I'm just looking like Mike. Okay. Anyway, so there's that. MJ has a new man, a boy named Tommy. They met on social media. He gives me that whole I struck gold, just like, hey, I found some good. She got some money, so I'ma just stick it out with her, and I'ma just sit here and play her up. If if she say this, I'ma fucking agree, and I'ma build her up. That's what I gave her him moving the fuck on. Mike and Jess, they've only been married for four months. I wrote down years, but they've only been married four months at this tape, and so pretty much what this leads me to believe is pretty much shortly after everything happened. Well, I don't even know when the fuck they got married, but you can tell that. They wanted to go ahead and just get a jump on this shit. I guess especially while a lot of this stuff is still fucking fresh, all right? But <clears throat> Jess is open to moving on in reference because Mike wants to get back with the gang. And this is one of those where, you know, they had a friend, like, th th there was this relationship with all of them prior to the show beginning. But you got to remember, this is still a job for them, so he's going to have to interact with them. It just can't be the Mike and Jess show over here and everybody else doing their own thing, so... It is a job. Let us not forget that. But Jess is just like, I'm cool with it, but I'm not down for the whole Gigi and her craziness. So as long as that's brought down, we're good. And by the way they was playing this shit out, we thought that Gigi was finna go crazy on fucking Jessica. But again, we're going to see it again. Bravo and they editing. Bravo shady as fuck with they fucking editing now. 
Now, also has started a fashion line. She has these little dress things. I forgot what the fuck they were called. I was trying to catch it, but I didn't. But she had put like a few pieces online to show herself in it, and apparently people want to buy them. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck happened to Diamond Water. You know, it seems like she is almost at the Phaedra Parks of this show, where it's like every season is something new with her. But at the same exact time, if y'all really catch it, she is the one that will sit here and kind of pull drama together or bring people together to force shit to come together. I think I'm lying. And Gigi comes over and she tells her, you know, because like I said, of course, uh, trying to bring everybody to back together. She was asking Gigi, well, what happens? Why, well, how would you react if you saw Jess? And it was the whole, and I'm kind of looking at Asa, just like, I get this. But how convenient is it that this conversation is happening in front of the cameras? You ain't slick. You ain't slick. Again, I think because I've been watching so much reality television, like, I have just become desensitized to the fuck shit. I think that's what this is. But moving on from that, I'm still trying to figure out what the fuck, what the fuck happened to Diamond Water. So if y'all know, let me know. But Gigi, she uh, is talking about her rheumatoid arthritis, how things are getting bad, uh, how, you know, she's having to have surgery and whatnot. Uh, and like I say, it is sad. And in her dealing with it, she says that, you know, she's in pain. The pain is causing her to be bitter. You know, she's drinking more because she's in pain and it is causing her to be bitter. She's isolating herself, just a whole lot of stuff. I mean, so in other words, I mean, AKA depression. But, and some of this was even admitted to Asa. And my whole thing is this, how good of a fucking friend are you that you hear your friend sitting here telling you shit? These, maybe it's because I have training and maybe it's because I, like I said, because like I said, for those who know my story, you know, way back in my early years, and I mean early years, as in nine, ten years old, I contemplated suicide the whole nine. I've gotten past that. I've gone through new a lot of training for suicide prevention and intervention. But even with that, I have gone through depression several fucking times in my fucking life. It's nothing new to me. So it's one of those where maybe because I've been there, I can pick up on the fucking signs. But again, she is literally telling you I need help without saying it. And it's just kind of falling on deaf ears. Either that or we're going to string this shit alone because I know this bitch got a problem. So we're going to string this shit alone so I can have something to show on this fucking show. Uh-huh. Anyway... Yeah, that's all we got for that. So Mike and Jess, they're, uh, you know, kind of getting their wedding video. I must say it was fucking beautiful. Like, I like how they did it. And I even know a buddy, he and his uh, girl, they had got married, uh, did the pictures and the video and everything. Like, even though, like, I want a small wedding and shit, like, I, I swear, like, when I get married, I want to fucking do that. Like, I think that shit, like... I, it's just something about it, you know, like, I even had the proposal and everything, like, in my head, like, oh, my gosh. And all the real shit, like, I'm finna connect so much with Sherman, I think, this fucking season, and I'll tell you guys why later, but I was like, yes, and then, must I say, I fucking loved Mike's Kipa or Yamaka. I fucking loved it. I was just like, oh, my gosh. You know what I'm saying? Like, I kind of, like, Mike, if you, hey, Mike, if you ever watch this shit, bro, where did you get that fucking Kipa? Bruh. I'm pretty sure it caused a fucking grip, but bro, where the fuck you get that shit from? It might have been custom, but that was a fly looking keep out. I ain't gonna fucking lie. Uh, Reza tell Asa <clears throat> he wants her to officiate his wedding, and he pretty much is going to do like a surprise wedding. I think they bought some property if I heard, if I recall correctly, and <clears throat> what he wants to do is kind of like have a party or whatever, and it literally just be like a pop-up type of wedding, so we'll see how this shit goes. Now, Shervin <clears throat> is turning 35. He is uh, single <clears throat> and is uh, wanting to uh, throw a yacht party. And this is where I'm starting to connect with him because I'm 29. I'll be turning 30 at the end of this year, which if all goes well, I want to throw myself a dirty 30. If I don't throw myself a dirty 30 birthday party, bitch, someplace, somewhere within me being 30 years old before I turn 31, it's going to be a dirty 30 something. Some shit going to pop off. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna let y'all ass know some shit gonna pop off now. But, you know, it's one of those places like I kinda understand, you know, because he's like, you know, the typical Persian man would I be married with two kids. Well, I'm sitting here back like, well shit, I would love to be married. I would love to have kids. Like the way that I kinda saw shit playing out is not exactly how shit has played out, because I am all types of fucking single. 
huh, my, like, it's one of the ways, like, my life is interesting, but damn, it's so fucking depressing, like, fuck, fuck, I'm still waiting for the right one, you know, whatever, anyway, so I can kind of feel him on this, I'm just like, all right, I think I'll be team sure this motherfucking season, no, nah, I don't know, <clears throat> but, uh, now we actually have the party, Asif and Bobby show up, which is like, okay, so it's one of those where they're going to make appearances and whatnot, uh, Nima and Shervin and uh, Gigi, they end up taking a, uh, getting a, uh, in a helicopter and flying on and landing on a yacht. I was just like, all right, that, sh that shit was flying. And it's an all-white party. I'm going to let y'all ass know, y'all not doing the all-white shit. I might do a Shades of Blue party where everybody come in and shade of blue because blue is my favorite color. I'm not going to do an all-white party. I think that is too fucking played. That is too fucking played. Just saying. But, I mean, it was nice. I was feeling the shit. Now, Mike's face when Gigi came off the fucking... At first, he was he you know, he was happy that, you know, Gonosa was not there. And then she comes off the motherfucking cop that he's kind of like... Like, his whole face broke. Anyway, Mike tell Reza that, you know, they need to talk some shit out. Them one-on-one, but, like, the whole group. But now is not the time to let them enjoy the moment, which I'm like, I can fucking appreciate it. Like, I sort of kind of felt the way. It's like, why would you bring this shit up here? But they gonna talk shit out. And it's one of those where he was at your motherfucking um, wedding and shit, though. But now y'all need to talk. Again, they're saving this shit for the cameras, y'all. But you know what? I can't be mad. They gotta make their money however the fuck they gonna make it, hell. Shit, last season almost didn't fucking happen, so, yeah, no, it is what it is. Uh, Sherman wants peace between, um, I'm sorry, wants peace for his birthday, so he wants Gigi and Jessica to talk things out. Gigi whole thing is, I don't want a fucking audience. Now, she had already been drinking prior to this, but her whole thing is, I don't want an audience, so if you see somebody, and, and I couldn't understand why she told Jessica, if you see somebody, if somebody comes, let me know, it's because she had her back to everybody else, and they were downstairs, so. You know, she pretty much tells her that. And they started talking, and Jessica's whole thing is just like, the, thing, the shit popped off because there was an issue I wasn't privy to, and I come into a party, and I fucking get blindsided when the whole, you know, you tried to fuck me in Turkey, bitch, you did that, that whole comment. And she was called the fuck off guard, and her whole thing is just like, I go from, you know, trying to defend myself and stick up everything to, you know, being the villain, being <clears throat> the bitch and everything else. And Gigi says, you know, she's sorry. She never meant to make her feel that way. It was never about her. And, you know, it was like she did not mean to sit here and cause the destruction, division, everything. And as they were start, because here's the thing. Jess did not want to have a conversation because she did not feel this was the place, even though she agrees and Gonessa agree that they need to have this conversation. And it seemed like they was getting ready to get to a good place. And then Reza and um, Asa comes down comes down and that's one of those where i think production did that because production could have kept their ass at bay and let this like it could have been one of those where you know like let's hash this shit out and just be done with it i truly believe production is full of shit and production pushed again i wouldn't put it past them and they end the conversation uh gg continues to drink and then drink and then drink Mike brings attention to it, but you also have to realize that a lot of what they say in their confessional, the season has already been taped. And this is them giving their commentary on the season, and now it's being aired. So, this is one of those where he probably watched the footage back and saw it. But I think, if I'm not mistaken, he even confronted her in the moment about her drinking. Um, So, you know, Raz is having his third. He throws some cake. The cake hits Asifa. We know Asifa had to have some turn up, and I believe that she initially had a part on this show, and I think they probably nixed her, because she kind of steps to Reza with an attitude, <clears throat> and it's one of those ways she has every right to be upset, but at the same as that time, I don't agree. I mean, again, she has every right to be upset, and I know people have been drinking and whatnot. It's just the way that she stepped to Reza. It's just like... It's one of those where I don't like it when women do that shit to men, and I don't like when men do that shit to women. Like, I don't like it. I don't think that shit is cool. And she's like, it's, this dress costs so much fucking money. On some real shit. This is why the fuck y'all don't do motherfucking white parties, but at the same exact time, you chose to wear an expensive dress. Why? Why? Who you trying to stun for, baby? And Bobby's trying to tell her, like, let it go. 
let it go. Like, he trying to tell her, let it go. He probably looked like, bitch, I bought the dress, let it go. Rez was talking about some return. <laughs> so, but she didn't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. But Gonessa threw some cake, and she is clearly fucking drunk. It's to the point where she didn't deny, well, I guess she did deny throwing it. And now Asifa wants to get bucked with Gigi, and I'm kind of like, really? Really? All right, so we so we we turning up for a check, okay? I know Bravo paid that fucking much, but okay. And I don't know if Asifa brushed her or I think she actually put her hands on her, maybe kind of like pushed her, whatever. And Gigi got a cold clock ass in the back, and you know she got a little rub. You know Sherv, you could tell Sherv was in his feelings and whatnot, and pretty much it ends there. And it seems as if next week uh, Reza is going to, you know, mention to uh, MJ that he wants Asa to officiate his wedding. She going to feel some kind of way. She team Adam, so she going to be in Adam's ear. And it's just going to cause some shit. So we're going to see. Like I said, as of right now, I'm here. I'm here. I don't know how long I'm going to be here, but I'm here. So that's all that I have for... Uh, episode one of this current season. I believe this is either, I think this season either four or five. It might be season five. I'll know when I upload this. So I did it for you guys. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys next week. All right. Peace.